trapped. Hundreds of North Shore residents felt that way today after the only road out of their neighborhood was blocked off for hours because of a downed utility pole. Nikki Schoenfeld is there. Now with more. Nikki? Yeah, Bridget, it was a long morning for a lot of Pupakea residents, but with hurricane season here and many brush fires across the island, being stuck with nowhere to go was a sneak peek of a grim reality. Pupakea Road was closed for over 12 hours while crews replaced the pole and power lines. Some were forced to sleep in their cars overnight. Others opted to walk down the hill to get to work or to go to the store. On top of that, some were without power for hours. And although this wasn't a natural disaster, emergency officials say it's because of things like this that we should always be prepared. You know, you might have to be evacuated from your home due to a fire or a large brush fire or something. Um, any number of reasons. So that the 14 days of supplies, the 14 days worth of planning helps for any kind of situation that might befall us during an emergency. One resident recalled a down tree last year and was unable to pick up her son from school. And had no way to contact him. In 30 years of doing this work, the thing that impacts folks the most is not knowing where the family is after disaster. It's a horrible feeling. He says having someone on the mainland as a point of contact is important for family communication in the event power and phone lines are down for a long period of time. While the cell phone system is up, text don't call. Texting is very robust. And it will it'll push through when a lot of the system is either down or partially working. So learn how to text. Us first. And while we never know when something's going to prevent us from making it home, it's always good to carry with you a full bottle of water, extra phone chargers, and a blanket just in case. And while no one could have predicted being stranded today, it's always good to have a plan ahead of time. But again, now, well, Skies of Blue is the time to think about how you're going to manage these types of events. And to know your neighbors, too. Talk to your neighbors because in an emergency, they're the ones you're going to have to turn to. So get with your immediate neighbors. Make sure you all have a plan together and you know what supplies your neighbors have so that you can share if the time comes. And for a full list on how to stay prepared, you can go to our website, khon2.com. Gina. Thank you, Nikki. Well,